So this company is called Power Queen and they sell lithium iron phosphate batteries. They look very similar to Chins and Joybot and Ampere Time. So today we're gonna actually open it up and see what's inside. Also, we have a 400 amp hour battery, which is massive. It has double the capacity than the Power Queen battery, but it's about the same size. So this one's a little bit wider, but it has double the capacity, which is nuts. Now it's my guess that the internals are the same as Chins and Joybot, Zooms, and all these other clones that are flooding the market right now. Even the terminals are the same and the caps and these handles, they're probably gonna be the same on the inside as well. But the capacity is much lower on this one, so I'm thinking that they filled in the space with foam. And these manuals are very similar, but they have different pictures, but they are organized in the same fashion and have a lot of the same text. For example, this section right here has different pictures, but it's practically the same thing and it has the same exact text. And these clones have good warranties and good build quality. Um, a lot of people at this van meetup I went to are using Ampere Time and Chins and they have zero issues. And they are dirt cheap, so I can't bash them too bad actually. Wow, look at this, they have their certificates in here as well. I think they do a good job, I mean all things considered. Whoa, that thing is heavy man. a little different than other chins. Typically this BMS is over here or on top. But yeah, this one's slapped on the side. There's only a single piece of fiberboard separating the BMS from the cells. And the BMS will heat up, so you could make an argument that there will be increased rates of degradation where this BMS is touching for these cells. And just like other clones on the market, there is no temperature sensor for the cells. So that means there is no low or high temperature charging protection. This is a very typical BMS from them though, so there's probably a high temperature switch. And then the parallel bank of FETs will have its own switch as well. And there it is, right there, those two little white wires at the bottom. So very typical clone. Nothing really special here everything's the same even the tape around the cells and there's fiberboard between the cells again build quality is good you're just missing that low temp charging protection but even the balance leads are glued down um, you have welded terminals and there's a little bend right here for expansion and contraction so yeah overall a very good build quality but this is like what the seventh battery like this so let's move on to the next one So I found out the Plus model by Ampere Time does not have low temp charging protection. That's their standard name. So there's no low temp charging protection sensor and pretty much the same BMS as that one. So these cells are configured differently, but it's practically the same battery. The one noticeable change is they're using straps instead of tape to hold the cells together. But same fiberboard, same BMS, same type of cells and how they're welded onto the terminals is also the same. So just another clone. It's crazy though that they packed in 400 amp hours. You'll notice that over here there's lots of foam on the sides. On this one, it's just a small layer of foam. What I do like about these BMSs that they use is that it has a high FET voltage rating, so you can put these in the series up to 48 volts. So if you were to buy four of these 400 amp hour batteries, you would have a 48 volt 400 amp hour battery, which is a pretty good size. That would be 20 kilowatt hours, and for the price, you just cannot beat that but these do not have low temp charging protection at all. So if you buy a Victron solar charge controller and you buy the battery since, you can combine those and add your own low temp charging protection yourself. But honestly, opening these up is starting to get boring. They are practically all the same. They might orient the cells differently and add more or less foam, but yeah, practically all the same. In the last few years, we've capacity tested stacks of these batteries and I've always pulled full capacity within like 0.1 amp hours of each other. So the consistency is very good in these packs, not only just the capacity, but also the build quality. But one argument I've heard against these clones is the cycle life count of the model cell that they're using. Typically, these only pull 1,500 to 2,000 cycles. If you buy an SOK or an EG4, 
you're gonna get 4,000 to 8,000 cycles. So these degrade faster, but after 2,000 cycles, you can safely use these. You're just gonna have a reduced capacity faster than the more expensive cells. I would also imagine that the more expensive cells have higher quality control standards, and maybe you'll have less shorted cells in a given batch of cells. It's still very rare, but I would imagine that if you spend more money and they have lower degradation rates, they would be overall better, but I could be wrong. These might be just fine as they are. But that's what makes these so cheap, and they're not using a more expensive BMS that has the low temp charging protection. So really, it's a plastic box, some cells, some tape and foam, and a very basic BMS. And that might be all you really need, especially if you live in a hot climate. So unfortunately, no surprises. I was really hoping that the 400 amp hour would be slightly different. We've opened 100 amp hour, 200, 300, and now 400, and they are practically all the same. So no surprises here. Now these clones have been on the market for about two years now and I haven't heard of any major complaints. They do work well. Now the big question I personally have is which company you should buy one of these clones from. There's like eight different companies on Amazon and on other websites. Personally, I would go with Ampere Time or Chins because I've tested them so many times, but all of these other clones are identical. So I guess if one has a better warranty um, or customer service and support, if you guys have any feedback on that, please leave it in the comment section below because I've never contacted them before. They did send out these batteries for free, but yeah, I have zero experience with their customer support. Chinese companies are pretty low drama. They just send out the battery, they never talk to me again, and that's it. Typically with the American ones, they're trying to become my friend, and they're calling like every week and checking in on me. I can't stand it. The Chinese are very good with business. So unfortunately, kind of a boring video. I was expecting this one to be a lot cooler on the inside. I also thought because it was a plus model, it would have low temp charging protection or heater pads, but no, the plus model with Ampere Time is their standard model. It's not special at all. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.